in the end of August of this year, uh, we got a chance to do something pretty cool. We saw some movies. Yeah, Lots a lot, of movies. a lot of movies. We went to go see something called the uh, Pay to Get Out Festival at the Cinema Arts Center in Huntington. Uh, they apparently run this every year. I have been meaning to go to it for a while. Uh, the reason why I didn't go last year is because every single year it runs, it's on the weekend of my friend's birthday. And this year I actually just flat out told her, listen, I love you, but... <laughs> I gotta do this. I gotta go watch 12 hours of horror movies instead of hanging out with you and your friends. And she was like, you love the movies more than you love me. And I'm like, eh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> at least you were honest. So here's how it worked. Basically, you showed up at 10 o'clock at night. They ran movies solidly for 12 hours. And if you made it through the entire thing, you got $10 back and a free breakfast in the morning. And we were determined to make it as long as possible. We didn't know how long we would make it. But um, I put money down. I'd be the first one to tap out. Yeah. Uh, I had a feeling I wanted to stick through it just because I wanted to know what the last movie was because they weren't going to announce it ahead of time. They were going to have it be a mystery that you could only find out what it was if you stayed the whole time. So uh, It started about 10 o'clock. We all showed up, and I had called earlier and been like, can we bring food to this? Can we bring, like, uh, drinks and stuff? Because it's going to be a long event. And they were like, yeah, no problem with that. I wish I had been more specific and asked, can we bring, like, Pillows and blankets. Yeah, it was like, great walking in with us having like nothing and everyone there is like ready to go to sleep with pillows, blankets, <laughs> people bringing in like a bucket of chicken. Yeah, <laughs> that was the best. That was the best. And I had gotten there first and I'm sitting there in the back, I'm securing us seats and I'm like, man, we are so unprepared for this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the only thing they had a problem with was bringing their own alcohol and. Uh, well, you know, people probably snuck it in. Oh, yeah. I'll bring a George Foreman next year. <laughs> so the. So the movie started at 10 o'clock, they did a raffle, and uh, we didn't win anything from there. Boo. But uh, the yeah. first movie that they showed was Child's Play 2. Child's Play 2. Keep an eye out for it. Ah! <laughs> Classic. Always fun to watch. It was a lot of fun. It was a great movie to start off with, too, because it was, it had enough scares that it wasn't, like, deeply involved, but it was campy as hell, and it was fun to watch in, like, a theater atmosphere. That it was the movie that got me into Child's Play. So I was very excited to finally sit down and rewatch it again after so long. Yeah, I've seen Child's Play so many times, but it was great to actually watch it in like a large group of people in a theater. Hearing people laugh at the laughter parts, actually hearing some people jump at the, some of the jump scares. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. So it is uh, 11.35. Yeah. We just wrapped up Child's Play 2. Uh, never seen it all the way through. Glad to finally see it on the big screen. Yeah, that amazes me that you never seen the whole thing. Only the second half. N never the whole thing. But uh, that's the case for pretty much every movie tonight. I've never seen Prince of Darkness at all, even though I have a copy. Um, I've, I've never seen all of Pet Cemetery in one sitting. After I've seen after Pet Cemetery, because that's next, that'll be it for me. I've never seen the rest of it. Well, I'm not surprised you've never seen Blackenstein or I yeah. Drink Your Blood, but still. Yeah, and uh, that feeling actually continued all the way through to the next movie, which was uh, Pet Cemetery. What did we do tonight, Judd? What we did, Lois, was a secret. I have only seen Pet Cemetery in parts, so it was actually really nice to A, see the full movie, and B, have the experience of being in a giant theater yeah. seeing it. It was, it was fun to watch that movie in the theater, it though. It was. Yeah. Um, it's not the best of the Stephen King movies or the horror movies oh, in general. Boy. It, it hasn't aged well, but it's not still it's, it's still fun. There's still a lot of things that, like, looking back on it, like, I really want to watch again. <laughs> <laughs> like, all the creepy-ass scenes with the kid and basically any scene that the judge from My Cousin Vinny was in, so. <laughs> <laughs> the trucks come by here all the time. <laughs> Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> Good old Herman Munster. Yeah, he was great. Bless him. Okay, it's now 1.30, and they just wrapped up Pet Cemetery. Didn't age well. It did not it age did. well. Like, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> Holly's here, too. It was not that good. I was not that impressed. It's the first time I've seen it all the way through. It, it's it got some flaws. Some it's it an flaws. old movie. Some laughs. No doubt, a lot of laughs. Yeah. Especially when he bangs his head on the frickin'. That hurt. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us breaks in between. Yeah, yes. they did. So they that they was allowed nice. you to go to the bathroom, which was nice of them. Yeah. 
But here's the thing. You could have taken a full shower, like gone home and taken a full shower and come back for the trailer part. Oh. All right, there were a couple <laughs> that I think, like, it was worth sitting through, and the rest of it was kind of like a stress test. Yeah, well, it was nice to see the original Jaws trailer. That and was the cool. Exorcist nice. trailer. Yeah, they yeah. had a lot of classic trailers like that, and they had some movies that were, like, so unbelievably outrageous <laughs> that you can't believe they exist. Hold on, I wrote down a couple uh, of the good ones. There was, um, Orca or, there was, was also some hysterical ones. Like, Orca. Yeah. Orca, Orca was, was shown was after the Jaws, Jaws yeah. trailer. <laughs> Which, why would you spoil us with Jaws and then show us Orca? <laughs> Between the two most dangerous animals on Earth. What in hell are you? Man and Orca. Ah! They showed us Ilsa, She-Wolf of the SS, and the sequel. I didn't know there was a sequel. I didn't know that. Apparently, <laughs> Apparently it's a series. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ilsa... Harem Keeper of the Oil Sheets, <laughs> which <laughs> is just as offensive was. and terrible as it sounds. The Motorcycle Werewolves. Oh, that was... Uh, werewolves on Wheels. Yes, Werewolves on Wheels. I wrote that down. Wheels. I wanted to watch that movie, actually. <laughs> Don't miss the first horror motorcycle film ever made, Werewolves on Wheels. That was one of the last ones I remembered because this was the time of the night when I started clocking out. Yeah, yeah people were, like, kind of fading in and out for this. I actually stayed awake th for the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I was and able I to stay awake for the whole thing. I don't that. think it was uh, worth it. <sighs> it really <laughs> wasn't. You know what? I think it was just ill-placed because you hyped up all this energy and good feeling with, yeah. like, you know, Pet Cemetery and Child's Play 2, and then you showed two hours of Grindhouse trailers, and everyone got through, like, the first, like, half hour laughing, yeah. and then you, I started a fade out. Yeah, people started to kind of like fade in and out of it. You, you saw some people walk in and out yeah. during you, it. What they should have done, I think, broken is it broken it up by in half. They should have yeah. had like an hour of trailers, done two more movies, done an hour of trailers, one more movie, and then... Or even half hour segments yeah, in between. Yeah, actually that would have been better if they had half hour segments like in between some of the movies. But um, there were some other movies on there that I kind of want to see. Night of the Bloody Apes. It's an orgy of terror. It's the night of the bloody apes. Which night has like such apes. horrible that, effects. Oh god, those effects were horrendous. <laughs> they were so bad. Um, um, Disco Godfather, because they showed like black yeah, exploitation. Black exploitation. I really want to see right? Disco Godfather. Disco Godfather. <laughs> Man in this community. They also showed some several uh, porno want looking ones. Yeah, they showed like a lot of like every single aspect yeah. of the grindhouse experience. <laughs> um, and then they showed. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed that I haven't seen it yet, but the Devil's Reign. Heaven help us all when the Devil's Reign. Is this one with Anton Yeah, it is. Okay, and yeah. uh, William remember, Shatner's in it. Yeah, I remember seeing that when I was like. Okay, this uh, looks I, weird. Uh, the one that I found the, I found myself laughing at hysterically was the um, the Pink Angels. The Pink Angels. <laughs> Don't miss the Pink Angels. Hard riders wearing a size 10 dress. <laughs> I have a copy of that movie if you'd like to watch it, actually. My friend gave me like a box set of like old Grindhouse movies, and that was one of them that we watched. What in the hell is this? It's a maiden form, and it's mine. That's when I tapped out. Yeah. Because, yeah, um, I was surprised. It wasn't because I was tired. It was because my eye, contacts. my contacts were so dry. I felt that if I lasted another hour, I wouldn't have been able to see driving home. Mm. So I was like, tap it out. I need to go home and take my eyeballs out. <laughs> uh, it's 3.30 right now. They just finished doing the... Uh, the trailer grindhouse releases thing it was two hours of trailers i fell asleep for like a half hour i'm yeah. ashamed my contacts drying up so i'm calling it for yeah. tonight i'm gonna i'm gonna stick around to it uh see how long i can make it i just want to see what the mystery movie is that's so why i will stick through i think i'm sticking through for that yeah <laughs> so after reese left we uh got john carpenter's prince of darkness which it wasn't... I don't know how I feel yeah, about that movie. Yeah, I think it was just ill-placed in yeah. the sec in like, for the night. A life form is growing out of prebiotic fluid. It's not winding down into disorder. It's self-organizing. It was like, I feel like if I sat and I watched this, 
just that movie on its own, I would have enjoyed it. But I think it just didn't fit with the dynamic of the night. I have to check with the timing, but I think also it, it aired at like, I, I want to say like 2 a.m. or like 3 a.m. And there was way too much exposition. It was way too <laughs> heavy of a movie to be shown like at that early in the morning it wasn't a in a hard, theater setting. So between More the so between it was kind of like trailers a and that that was like people's nap time. Kind, well, actually, I faded in and out for the next movie, which was Black and Stuff. I was out for them. I stayed awake for like the first like half hour or so, and then I woke up towards the end, and I had no idea what happened. <laughs> But unlike a lot of black exploitation films, like they don't really play up the like atmosphere of like the, well, the racial differences well, and things like that. What I really f found out about it, it's not it's supposed to be like a black exploitation movie. It's yeah. simply supposed to be a black version of Frankenstein. Yeah, that's all it really was supposed to be. It, it, it kind of succeeded and kind of didn't. But I don't know. I I, I think like of all the movies that, that played that night, that one was the most boring. You would know better than I would. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't miss much. All right, so. Black and sign. I was asleep pretty much the entire movie, but I, I kind of needed it. I was fading in and out for that one. Um, Parts it, I did stay awake for were... Kind of enjoyable. enjoyable. They could have cut a half an hour off of that movie, and it would have been fine. Yeah, but... Also, the ending was a little too sudden. So, what things that we, we took from that were uh, injecting with science. Injecting with science. No real understanding of how the human body works, and the word prehistoric. Counting and, apparently too. Yes, like over and over again. It was fun. After that though was yes. I, I, drink I drink your, your blood. blood. It's the one I wanted to watch. That was a, that was a fun movie. That was just weird. The biggest, bloodiest horror show in history. I drink your blood. It's got this great combination of like hippies and Satanists and <laughs> uh, like old 60s music and. <laughs> they just like kid baked rabies into a cake and fed to like the uh, scumbag like tourists that were in yeah. town and then infected them all with rabies. And then How do you <laughs> bake rabies into a cake? It was the blood he took from he the dog. He took, he took the blood of like a rabies infected okay. dog and literally like injected it into the meat pies. And turns a group of men into a band of bloodthirsty zombies ravaging a peaceful countryside. <laughs> I drink your blood. When somebody actually was outside like at the end of the night, they were complaining about I drink your blood, not in a way of just like, well, I was too tired, but they, somebody actually said like, this was worse than the room. And I'm like, <laughs> And, and, uh, and I'm like, no, it ain't. <laughs> I've got the disaster artist. I'm waiting for the movie to come out. I love the room. This was not the room. It was a bad movie. It wasn't that great, but it was at least fun. It was the type of movie you have to watch with friends. You can, yeah. Like, I don't see somebody coming home from work and being like, you know. <laughs> you know what I think? I'm going to pour myself a nice glass of brandy and watch I drink your blood. <laughs> This is the scariest thing right here. I just stepped outside to go to the bathroom. We've been watching movies for about ten and a half hours straight. The sun is out. So we got about another two and a half hours, but god damn it, we're gonna see this through. We made it this far. By the end of the night, there were only a couple of like there were like thirty or so people left, and they played the the mystery film, which yes. was the fly. The remake. You are about to go beyond that limit. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I, would, you know, I, I remember we both looked at each other like, we'll stick this out. Yeah, we, we made a judgment call, like I think a lot of people did, because I saw like a couple, a good like 20 people or so walked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, they had to stay another hour and a half to get their money back, and they just decided, not worth it. But <laughs> but I saw, the, I saw the Brooks film logo, and I'm just like, yes, like, <laughs> come on, and then they showed The Fly. One of the coolest movie-going experiences, I think, because... Seeing that grotesque beauty on screen is well worth it. I had never seen that until yeah. that night. And we were making, like, what did we say the fly at the end looked like? It was like a combination of, like, 
three different things. Yeah. I think we said what? Wishmaster? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the dude from um, Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers and um, the guy from Once. The TV show series? You, you knew that one because I don't know. Uh, his the name show. is like escaping me, but I don't know. It's I think like they, this I, weird combination of I think they look like the government aliens from Rick and Morty. But the <laughs> the thing that the thing that made the whole uh, movie so great was that Again, like the only movies that they did it really for were Pet Cemetery and for Child's Play, where like the audience was like getting emotionally invested yeah. in it to the point where like something gross happened on screen, they would go, Oh, and if, if if somebody died, they would clap. That's one of the things that I liked the most about seeing the first couple of movies. And then like the middle part was kind of boring. Well, you know what too? I think more people who were there were familiar with Child's Play, with Pet Cemetery, and yeah. then who stayed through to the fly, whereas that middle chunk, especially the Grindhouse trailers, you were pr a lot of us were going in blind to that. Yeah. Help me. Please help me. Final thoughts? Uh, recommend doing it. Just go prepared. Yeah. Take a nap beforehand. Be prepared. Bring Red Bull. Sleep beforehand. If you have contacts, bring contact solution <laughs> and case. <laughs> Spontaneous naps and the remake of the fly to finish it. Today was a good day. Well, the past two days. Yeah. End of yesterday, beginning of today. All right, and as a reward for this, they gave us ten dollars back and a free breakfast. I'd say it was worth it. Worth it. I still need to watch. I drink your blood. I don't think I have enough to say a lot about that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Other than meat pies, babies. <laughs>